a buddy and here again when I'm out in the uh, countryside near me actually a place that I used to come out to and it suddenly struck me that uh, a few years ago I used to run around these fields and along these paths up around here this is out um, I caught the train out to a place called Crowhurst which is up near Battle and I'm walking back along the, the little canals or rivers and streams and that that are on here and um, one thing that I thought of actually, a couple of things that have happened recently is that around this area, and you can see behind me what it's like, the sort of beautiful countryside, but it's pretty marshy in that out here. But um, they've been talking about putting a road through here for a number of years now. There was talk about putting a whole bypass right the way around the outside of Hastings in two sort of parts. Uh, one was out near Breed and Winchelsea, a place that I've walked and you might have seen in videos that I've made before. Another lovely area. That was scrapped, thankfully, <laughs> in my opinion, anyway. Um, but they've still been talking about this other sort of second part, the smaller part, to sort of bypass Hastings and to go around the back of Hastings and along here. Now there used to be a railway line which is back there somewhere, yeah, obviously it's not there anymore. Uh, a victim of the old Beechins cuts in the sort of 1960s, there's still some of the parts of the viaducts, bits of brickwork and the banks and that are still there and I think the road is, is destined to sort of take that type of path as well. Now I, I understand the need for a road, although I'm against it for a number of reasons. One, because I don't think it'd be used by many people, because most of the traffic it's designed to actually get rid of is local traffic anyway, in my opinion. So it's not actually gonna relieve the main road along with the, the seafront. Yes, it needs something doing, but I think this is pretty drastic, as you can see around here. But the other point, apart from the beautiful countryside that we're in, and the fact it's going to cut through that. Yeah, I know sometimes you have to forego, you know, the old NIMBY, not in my backyard thing. Um, sometimes you have to sacrifice something to, you know, still lose the battle to win the war type of thing. But the other thing, and on that very, very point, is back behind me, not too far, as I said, is battle where the Battle of Hastings was fought, or was it fought? And that's something that's come up recently. There's a guy who lives around this area called Nick Austin. And for those music fans, he used to run the Beggar's Banquet record label. Well, he lives not a million miles up there. And he's done a lot of research over about 20 years. And he thinks that the actual Battle of Hastings wasn't fought where it is traditionally thought to have been fought, in battle, <laughs> surprisingly enough, and where they built the abbey and the battlefield, in inverted commas, is. But it was actually fought further south, a bit further north to where I am, but between here and battle, on this sort of area, that type of area that they're going to hope hopefully not, but a road through it sometimes. So there's another reason for not putting a road through it. Now, would you want one of the most defining moments of British history to be destroyed by a road? You know, that wouldn't look very good, would it, in future years and all the children saying, well, you know, all the kids go to the battlefield uh, and it's not there anymore. Well, there's a road instead. Sorry, you can't get anywhere near it. Yeah, okay, it's not been proven, but I've read a synopsis of his book, which I downloaded for free and anybody else can. I can't remember the name of the title. If I find it, I'll put a link to it down below. Um, but reading about it, he's been looking at all the uh, contemporary writings from within about 100 years of 1066, which obviously are going to be hopefully far more realistic and believable than ones that were written four or 500 years afterwards. And they do suggest that the battle may well have been fought further south. You know, the topography of the land and where I am now probably would have been underwater at that time. And he's taken account of all the old maps and actually reread all the old documents. And it makes a pretty convincing argument. In my opinion, if nothing else, it should certainly be explored. And the battlefield he thinks is on some farmland back there, as I said, behind me now. And they've done what they can, metal detecting, etc. And uh, the amount of artifacts that they've seen there and it appears that are there do suggest that it could have been a battlefield. Yes, it could have been. I mean, William's army would have come through this area, probably on the hills over there, just behind me, over that side, um, on his march up towards Battle, or to Crowhurst, or wherever it was. So maybe they'll have to change the name of the town to Battle and move it further south. Who knows? But anyway. I'm going to continue my walk. It's a lovely little area here. You might be hearing the streams behind me, the bull rushes, there's birds everywhere. And as I said, it's one of those places I haven't come to for quite some time. But I think I'll have to come back here a bit more. And hopefully there won't be a road across here. Let's build the rebuild the railway if they want to do that, because that's not quite so intrusive. And they can put it across. Use the old, old viaducts and that. Anyway, there's a thought. <laughs> Maybe I'm biased. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for your time. I'll speak to you again soon. Goodbye.